afforded this opportunity on this special day to ask all Nigerians to embrace peace and a dialogue. We remain resolute but unwavering for a peaceful United Nigeria, President Buhari reaffirms in a National Independence Day broadcast. Political and religious leaders sue for peace as Nigeria marks 61st Independence Day anniversary. Has Nigeria fared in some sectors of the economy 61 years after independence? Find out as correspondents build such lives. Happy 61st Independence Anniversary to Nigerians at home and the diaspora. This is NTA Network News. We are live in Abuja. I am Jumma Yusuf. Michael Olale will be joining us from our Lagos studio. Thanks for joining us. The federal government says it will not only remain resolute but unwavering in its resolve for a peaceful, united and one Nigeria. Consequently, decisive actions will be taken against all secessionist agitators and their sponsors, threatening national security, while those inciting violence through words or actions will be arrested for prosecution. President Buhari, who stated this in a nationwide broadcast marking Nigeria's 61st independence anniversary, maintains that the unity of the country is not negotiable, as Nigeria belongs to all Nigerians. State House correspondent Adam has the details. The recent arrest of Namdi Kanu and Sandy Ademimo and the ongoing investigation being conducted have revealed certain high profile financiers behind these individuals. These financiers, President Muhammad Buhari disclosed, are now being vigorously pursued, including one identified as a serving member of the National Assembly. This is a clear example of how people abandon their national leadership positions for their selfish gains. Instead of reaching unity, they are funding and misleading our youth to conduct criminal acts that sometimes lead to unfortunate and unnecessary loss of lives and property. While promising to continue work on dialogue-based solutions to address legitimate grievances, the president said efforts will be sustained towards improving security architecture, reducing enabling environment for criminality to thrive, and eliminating opportunities for terrorism financing. We are taking the fight to our enemies from all angles, and we are winning. In the Northeast region alone, over 8,000 Boko Haram terrorists have surrendered. I will therefore take this opportunity on this special day to ask all Nigerians to embrace peace and a dialogue, whatever your grievances. And as Nigerians celebrate 61st independence anniversary of the country, their anxiety is never hidden on the inability of Nigeria to go beyond a potential for becoming a great nation to an actually a great one. But President Buhari said a lot has been achieved in the last six years on many fronts. Since coming to power, this administration has tackled our problems head on in spite of the meager resources. No government since 1999 has done what we have done in six years to put Nigeria back on track. But critics misdiagnose incremental progress as stagnation. The past 18 months, he explained, have been some of the most difficult periods in Nigeria's history as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, saying, however, that following the resolve by Nigerians to come together as one to fight, the doomsday scenario predicted for the country never came. I will take this opportunity to remind the global community that the current state of access to COVID-19 vaccines is unacceptable. We cannot afford a situation where a handful of countries keep the global vaccine supply to themselves at the expense of other nations. We must act now 
to accelerate equitable distribution of COVID-19 vaccines. Meanwhile, in the spirit of the anniversary celebration, President Muhammad Buhari directed that the indefinite suspension of Twitter operations in Nigeria be lifted following the company's fulfillment of stipulated conditions by the federal government. As a country, we are committed to ensuring that digital companies use their platform to enhance the lives of our citizens, respect Nigeria's sovereignty, cultural values, and promote online safety. Nigeria, the present concludes, does not start and end with the federal government, rather a great collective where government at all arms and levels, the private sector, and indeed individuals have roles to play. From the State House, Adam Usambu, NTA News. The Eagle Square is the usual venue for the nation's independence anniversary parade. And as Nigeria marked 61 years of self-rule, Francis Farm reports on the colorful event that featured displays by both the armed forces and civilians. This is a regular ritual to mark important national days and events in Nigeria. Almost everyone looks forward to it, and that explains the excitement at the Eagle Square. Even those watching from home are often glued to the screen to savour the two-round, slow and quick march past by the armed forces and other security agencies. It's a form of saluting. Of recent, however, the silent drill has become the people's favorite. The fusion of armed forces with national troops to entertain and pass vital messages is also enthusing many. display and even the military uh, the, the military display you can see that um, Nigeria is a country that is whose strength actually lies with diversity and you look at the military and if you follow the biography of each of the commanders of each very unit units they are from different parts of Nigeria you see, when there's a military, a military is, the, is that symbol of unity. Because in a time of war, the, the military don't make a distinction between the man from the south or the west. He wants to protect the country and protect himself. The traditional 21 artillery gun salute brought to an end by about two hours display of grit, elegance, and cohesion. Franks is from NTA News. Spectacular display there. Still on Nigeria 61, these images on Independence Day celebration put together by Olusia Degbo gives answer to the mood of many Nigerians across the globe on this special day. Costumes are in the national color of green and white, one of the many unique features on every Independence Day. It is a joyous mood of celebrating Nigeria's new age of freedom from colonialism. The various inscriptions on their outfits and cards send messages of hope, selflessness and commitment for a better Nigeria. Nigeria. Nigerians abroad are also in the same mood. This one Nigeria group, USA, for instance, is identifying with commendable achievements recorded by the government of President Buhari in tackling the myriad of security and developmental challenges facing the country, pledging support to the government and people of Nigeria. Nigeria. 
Olushe ye diagbo entieni yus. Fear Allah and be obedient to all his commandments in the affairs of man were the words of the Murshid of the Abuja National Mosque, Professor Shew Said Galadinchi to Nigerian leaders and the people. This was as he led the congregation in a special Jumat prayer to supplicate to Allah for Nigeria as the nation marks her 61 years to nationhood. Ilyasu Onoto Yakubo brings us the rest of the sermon. With joyous congratulations to the entire nation, Sheikh Abubakar Galadenche joined the people to hold steadfast to the unity of purpose and the dreams which fueled the passion of the nation's forebearers to sacrifice their all for the purpose of the day's celebration, irrespective of differences in tongue or religious credence. Almighty Allah has given us these intelligent people, very professional people, and dedicated people. But the important thing is coming together. Now, the other thing is peace. We have to have peace. Without peace, we cannot do anything. Leadership and power is with Allah, and he bestows it on whomever he wills to be accounted for in the hereafter. And on this quote was the strong charging of the Murshid to the plethora of national leaders present at the special prayers led by Senate President Ahmed Lawan. We have to continue with this. It is our duty to ensure that this country develops. But what is more important is the people, the people and the people. Once we are able to unite Nigerians across their ethnic, religious and geopolitical uh, zones or whatever it is, any other consideration will become less important and less significant. So with gratitude to Allah for having shielded the nation from the shackles of injustice of the colonialists in the last 61 years, the congregation committed its future to him in supplication and leadership for the just discharge of state affairs. Ilyasu Onotu Yakubu, NTA News. Borno State Governor Babagana Umara Zulum has attended the special Jumat prayer at Meduguri Central Marks to mark Nigeria's independence anniversary, where he felicitated with President Muhammadu Buhari, Borno citizens and all Nigerians on our 61st years of nationhood. Muhammad Goni tells us more. The special Jumat prayer was attended by Muslim people from all walks of life that include top government functionaries, politicians, as well as members of the business community, where prayers were offered to end insurgency, banditry, and other criminalities, as well as for united, peaceful, and prosperous Nigeria. Governor Obagana Umara used the opportunity to thank President Muhammad Buhari for his support to the Nigerian Armed Forces, which led to mass surrender by members of the Boko Haram insurgents after 12 years of insurgency, and further commended the Armed Forces and other security operatives, including the civilian JTF hunters and vigilante, for their gallantry. On the tension being created in some parts of the country by separatist elements, Professor Zilum called for understanding of all Nigerians, stressing that the unity of Nigeria lies in its diversity. My talk up is that it's better we stay together because our diversity should be our own The governor stressed that the surrendered members of the insurgents will be propelled and be treated according to laws of the land and enjoined citizens of Borno to intensify prayer for total peace to the state and the country as a whole even as he called for more support and understanding, assuring that government will continue to live up to its responsibilities in spite of challenges. In Maiduguri, Mahmoud Goni, NTA News. President Muhammadu Buhari has unveiled a 60 square meters photo book entitled Discover Nigeria, put together by its official photographer, Bayo Omoborinowo, as he commended Nigerians for the ingenuity and resilience to a standing firm at ensuring sustainable peace and unity. Ali Kabir reports that the book has been recorded as the largest photo book by the Guinness World Record. The photo book entitled Discover Nigeria, recorded as the largest photo book by the Guinness World of Record, measuring 60 square meters of 60 images on 60 pages, President Muhammad Buhari is optimistic that no matter the challenges in the process of nation building, Nigeria and Nigerians would always come out better. 
While commending the effort and commitment of the brand behind the publication of the book, who is his official photographer, by Omoborio, of showcasing the Nigeria's rich cultural heritage, norms and tradition of the people, as well as the beauty of the nation's landscape and richness in its farmland, the president has emphasized the need for Nigerians to consistently embrace the ethics and values that unite the country in spite of the cultural diversity. For this diversity to translate into positive gains that would ensure an inclusive, equitable, and sustainable growth requires that we Nigerians consistently embrace the ethics and values that unite us in spite of our diversity. Appreciate our individual and collective role in nation building and forging ahead as a people with a common vision as a strong and indivisible nation. While counting on the support of Nigerians, the president reaffirmed that the government will continue to provide the enabling environment for citizens to achieve their dreams towards nation building and national integration. We must all come together to propagate a new and positive narrative that Nigeria is ready to harness her own resources to become a global flair in commerce, governance, arts, sports, and other fields of endeavor. The Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa, alongside the Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, and the publisher of the book, were overwhelmed with the genuine commitment of Nigerians towards achieving greatness in the quest of nation building, urging everybody to remain a key player towards achieving success. In the course of the one year celebration, we have been able to showcase the beauty of our diversity in various forms, especially in manufacturing, food, innovation, and being together, which was our theme. It is encouraging and an outstanding achievement to have a young man like Bayo Omoboriwo to become a place setter and a pathfinder to unveil, discover, and share our rich cultural heritage, thus opening the doors for the world to experience, invest, and explore the many opportunities across the 36 states of the nation and the Federal Capital Territory. Thank you so much for your support, sir. Thank you for believing in Nigeria. Thank you for believing in this young man. From the day of my ruggedness, you see, I'm so restless. Some Nigerians were awarded towards making Nigeria a better place. The display of the symbol of cultural heritage and tradition through music and dance were at the peak during the event. From the State House, Ali Kabir, NTA News. You are watching the news on NTA. Time for some messages. We'll be right back. Will this penalty be the decider? It's going through the player's mind here. You could cut the tension with a knife. Is there one more twist in this long, rocky road to the final? And here's the kick. And he scores! They've taken the win. They're through. Don't worry, my boy. There's always a next time. Every match with Glow Special Data Plans. For everything Glow, dial star triple seven hash. Great supporters of football. The federal government, through NPHCDA, commenced phase two vaccination of all persons 18 years and above with safe and effective COVID-19 vaccines, approved by WHO and certified by NAFDAQ. 
special arrangement has been made for staff, their dependents and retirees of ministries, departments and agencies of government, private corporate organizations and non-governmental organizations. To benefit from this special arrangement, visit www.nphcda.gov.ng forward slash corporate vaccination forward slash to obtain, fill and submit the Google form. NPHCDA will contact you within 48 hours. Protect yourself, your family and your workplace against COVID-19. COVID-19 vaccines are free, safe and effective. For further inquiries, call 0700-220-1122 or send a mail to covid19.vaccination at nphcda.gov.ng. This message is from the National Primary Healthcare Development Agency. News is here at last. The federal government, in collaboration with states, local governments, and councils through Argon, with the Nigeria stakeholders, has rolled out the National Anti Multiple Taxation Scheme, NAMTAX, and National Transit Insurance Scheme, NATIS, using National Joint Compliance Monitoring and Enforcement Team to put an end to all illegal roadblocks, illegal taxation, illegal levies, harassment, assault, molestations, killings on the road, thereby reducing the prices of goods and services. Oh, yes, farmers, transporters, manufacturers, dealers, distributors, miners, and traders, ETC, can now assess safety, security, surveillance, and emergency rescue. And move freely on Nigerian roads. Beneficiaries are required to buy safety, security, and emergency rescue sticker once a year from accredited certified registered vendors nationwide while loading and offloading permit fee per trip is also required to qualify for the services. In case of any emergency, quickly use the special short code 7744 indicated on the rescue sticker to assess immediate services of the compliance monitoring and enforcement group established in each of the local government councils, area councils, and LCDAs. Zenith Bank, UBA, First Bank, and SunTrust Bank are approved and official bankers of the NAMTA Project. On behalf of the good people of Gumbi State, I celebrate with the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, Federal Republic of Nigeria, Muhammad Buhari, GCFR, on the occasion of Nigeria's 61st Independence Anniversary. For us in Gumbi State, it is a double celebration as we mark our 25th anniversary since the creation of the state in 1996. The Silver Jubilee provides opportunity to celebrate the best state in ease of doing business in Nigeria and the fastest growing economy in the Northeast with unprecedented pace of development anchored through Devagon to create a highly educated, innovative, healthy and prosperous state propelled by peace, efficient infrastructure, sustainable environment and good governance. Long live Gumbi Steed. Long live the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Sign Muhammad Inua Yahaya, Governor Gumbi Steed. Hello? It's your what is it again? I said to money just last week. But I'm not calling because of money. Then why are you calling me? I'm calling because I saw your name on a publication by Nigerians in Diaspora Formation called Plus 600 Diaspora Icons at 60. Really? Yes, brother. Brother, you don't blow. Wait, wait, wait. How can I get the copy of this publication now? Plus 600 Diaspora Icons at 60. A publication by the Nigerians in Diaspora Commission celebrating Nigerians excelling all over the world. For further details, visit www.nicom.gov.ng to order your copy. Please go to www.conga.com or please call 070-1051-7526 or 090-4404-4444. Postponement of the Midterm Ministerial Performance Review Retreat. The Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa, regrets to inform all dignitaries invited to participate at the Midterm Ministerial Performance Review Retreat, earlier scheduled for Monday 4th to Tuesday 5th October 2021, has now been rescheduled as follows. Date, Monday 11th to Tuesday 12th October 2021, Venue, State House Conference Center, Presidential Villa, Abuja, Time 9 a.m. daily. Announcer, James Suley, Permanent Secretary, Cabinet Affairs Office, Office of the Secretary to the Government of the Federation. Thanks for rejoining us. As Nigeria marks her 61st independence anniversary, notable Nigerians that include the President of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan, have continued to congratulate and express hope in the country as they wish the citizens well. Salwa Khalil Ibrahim compiled the messages. 
President of the Senate, Ahmed Lowen, has urged Nigerians to unite for the progress of the country and continue to keep faith with the fatherland. In a statement, Senator Lowen observed that Nigerians must keep the dreams of the nation's founding fathers alive and hand it over to the next generation. He said the National Assembly will always provide the necessary legislative interventions to strengthen national unity and encourage popular participation as he advised all citizens to take advantage of the ongoing constitution amendment to express their views. Senator Lawan explained that the differences in the Electoral Act Amendment Bill will soon be resolved as members of the National Assembly are confident that it will enhance the improvement that Nigerians have continued to see in the nation's electoral process. Also, the Speaker, House of Representatives, Femi Bajabia Mila, has called on Nigerians to be more united for the common purpose of building a country that meets the best expectations of all Nigerians as the country marks her 61st independence. The Speaker re echoed the fact that Nigeria is the only country the citizens have. As such, everyone must work together to fulfill the dreams of the nation. In a related development, Women Affairs Minister Pauline Talon salutes Nigerian women on the 61st independence anniversary for the sacrifices and doggedness in keeping Nigeria together. The minister in a statement thanked President Buhari for his commitment to better the lots of women and children and also acknowledged the support Nigerian women have received from the 9th National Assembly. Pauline Talon noted that the First Lady Aisha Buhari and wife of the Vice President Dolapo or Shibajo have been good and caring mothers for the nation whose actions have impacted positively. While commending the wives of state governors for the effort at uplifting women and children, she advocated non-violence against children, discrimination against women, and fast inclusiveness in governance. In the same vein, the Chairman of Progressives Congress, Caretaker and Extraordinary Convention Planning Committee, and Governor of Yobe State, Mai Malabuni, says Nigeria's 61st years of independence provide a strong source of unity and strength. In a statement, Mai Malabuni said the long history of integration amongst the various ethnic and social cultural groups should be a source of unity in diversity for the country and encourage Nigerians to concentrate on issues that unite the country. He appealed to to Nigerians to support the Buhari administration that is committed to building a solid foundation that will stand the taste of time, institute good governance and service delivery. Also, the Corps Marshal Federal Road Safety Corps, Boboye Oyeyemi, has congratulated Nigerians on her 61st independence anniversary. He prayed that the country progresses to nationhood, steadfast in unity, peace, and progress. Similarly, the Nigerian Labour Congress has congratulated the nation, government, Nigerian workers, and the people on the occasion of Nigeria's 61st independence anniversary. NLC President Ayuba Waba recalled the selfless efforts of heroes and heroines, past and present, Nigerian workers, the pensioners including ex-servicemen and women, upon the attainment of independence 61 years ago. A lot was expected of the country that hosts the largest population of black people on the planet. Salwa Kalal Ibrahim, NTA News. Meanwhile, former head of state Abdul Salami Abubakar and some prominent Nigerians taking the lead in global organizations have also sent messages of hope to identify with Nigerians at her 61st independence. There must be an effort to carry everybody along in the governance, in the developmental, the provision of uh, infrastructure, and again in appointing various people into various uh, offices. And there should be equal representation. My appeal to all of us is one, to keep peace and maintain peace. Because without, without peace, 
nothing works. We don't have a country. Happy Independence Day to all Nigerians. Each and every one of you has a role to play in this great nation. It is the nation where you are first. Um, everywhere else that you go across the borders, you will be second. So let's actually talk about nation building. And at the heart of nation building, bringing peace and unity back uh, to this country is women. It's women in my generation. It's young women. It's the girls of, that, that are going to grow up to be us tomorrow. Um, and, and for this, we need every Nigerian to participate. My dear compatriots, on behalf of OPEC, we send our warmest greetings and salutations uh, to our fellow Nigerians celebrating Independence Day. Over the course of a 17-day period in the third quarter of the year 1960, Two historic events took place with profound consequences for international relations, the energy sector, and the petroleum industry. For two 61-year-olds, Nigeria and OPEC currently enjoy tremendous health. We have surmounted many challenges over the last six decades, remaining unified and focused on the future. We have come a long way in 61 years as a nation. Now, I shall know as I was born the same year that Nigeria got its independence in 1960. We are a woven tapestry as a nation, with diverse strands, colors, religions, ethnicities, and cultures. The diversity we have is our beauty, and it is a beauty we should adorn and wear with pride. We may not be perfect, and from time to time, our strands of unity may become frayed Yet we are stronger united, better united, and we prosper more united. We should care more for one another, ensure equity, and turn our diversity into our greatest strength. Together, we must make our nation thrive today and well into the future. And in this special report, Joseph Johnson examines the nation's quest of becoming Africa's leading digital economy as it celebrates her 61st independence. Nigeria, like many other developing nations, is coming to terms with the disruption caused by COVID-19, especially as the information and communications technology ICT sector relatively thrived during the lockdown period and is playing a pivotal role in helping other sectors like health, agriculture, navigate through the post-coronavirus pandemic era. The National Bureau of Statistics GDP reports in 2020, first and second quarters in 2021, are testaments to the steady contributions of the sector to the nation's GDP. We want to ensure that in the next 10 years, we don't have a traditional or manual Nigeria, but rather a digital Nigeria. Each and every Nigerian is encouraged to key into a digital Nigeria. The unprecedented trajectory of the digital sphere has been attributed by many to the commitment of the federal government to the development of the digital economy, the 16 national policies developed by the ministry, the 1,667 projects and programs, the large-scale digital skills and general capacity building efforts, among others. I think this minister is doing quite a lot um, to develop ICT um, in the country. There's still a gap. I, I think there's still quite a lot to be done. Ministry of Communication and Digital Economy, especially this administration, has done a lot in terms of policy formulation, streamlining ICT services in the country, and the major efforts of bringing government services online. With the federal government's approval of 5G deployment in the country, the digital game has taken a notch higher. And as Nigeria celebrates another milestone of nationhood, the ICT sector, experts say, has proven to be a critical force that will also help in tackling the lingering insecurity, corruption and other vices, if effectively explored and utilized. Joseph Johnson, NTA News. Away from independent celebration for a bit, 
Telecommunication services have been restored in the Zamfara state capital, Kosovo, after four weeks of shutdown as part of effort to tackle insecurity. The State Commissioner for Information, Ibrahim Dosara, who announced the government's decision to restore telecommunication services, said the action had made a significant positive impact on the ongoing efforts to stem the tides of bandits and their collaborators across the state. The Information Commissioner also said the ban on the full operation of Gosau Central Market has been lifted and relaxation on restriction on the movement of motorcycles. Meanwhile, the Zamfara state government has announced the arrest of more than 2,000 suspected bandits collaborators across the state within the past one month. We take you now to Lagos Network Center for more news from that zone and Michael is our guide. Hello Michael. Happy Independence. Happy Independence to you, Jumai. The few Prima Foods PLC manufacturers of Indomie Lotus have presented a grand prize of 500,000 Naira to the winner of the 2021 Fan Club Team Yourself Up competition held in Lagos. Amaka O can please report. From various schools made different presentations and had a great time. Indomie Noodles is a unique brand that adopts several initiatives aimed at enriching the lives of young Nigerians. In Lagos, Amaka O, NT News. Lagos, one of the western states in Nigeria with a compelling cultural renaissance, is the hub of various sectors of the economy. The city is also said to be the melting pot of cultures in the country. It is against this backdrop that Adiola Komiakiri is examining how residents with their diverse cultures coexist in a heterogeneous state like Lagos as Nigeria celebrates her 61st independence. Lagos State. In spite of its persistent gridlock and ending hustling and bustling, remains home to many. We accommodate people a lot in Lagos. We cherish uh, the human coexistence and we tolerate our visitors, our guests. As they come, they bring their culture. All, everything about their life, the life they are living as a people in their own uh, cultural settings before they come to Lagos. Erelu Abiola Dosumo says Lagos has a culture of peaceful coexistence, which explains the accommodation of people from diverse ethnic groups in Nigeria and races across the globe. Long before the amalgamation, Lagos has been home to various cultures of the world. You have the Portuguese, you have the French, you have the British, you, they, they brought in their styles, their religion, their different ways of life. And then of course you have other Nigerians from the interland all coming to Lagos. History has it that the Portuguese were the earliest settlers in Lagos after their worries. They gave the name Lagos, meaning lake after a Portuguese city because of the bodies of water surrounding it, which was the major attraction in the pre-colonial era. On a daily basis, the city of Lagos welcomes and fends for thousands of visitors who never return to their original towns. Francis Adronuma from the eastern part of Nigeria is one of such. I did my primary school here in Lagos, enjoyed free education, secondary school here in Lagos, my diploma and my university education all here in Lagos, and I have not had any problem. It is hoped that Lagos will continue to play its leadership role in embracing and accommodating people of diverse cultural background to promote unity in diversity, which is clearly spelled out in the national anthem while also bringing about the much-needed development in the country. In Lagos, Adeola Komiake, NTA. This is NTA Network News. More reports shortly after this break. Please stay.
went agog on the 1st of October 1960 as she broke the shackles of colonization. Under indigenous leadership, Nigeria has continued to witness development in all the facets of our economy while sustaining our non-negotiable unity. As we congratulate Nigeria's symbol of authority, President Muhammadu Buhari, on Nigeria's 61st independence, Road Transport Employers Association of Nigeria, the mover of the nation's economy under the visionary leadership of Alhaji Dr. Musa Mohammed Maitakobi One, will continue to foster Nigeria's unity and progress. Congratulations, Nigeria. Upload Super. Hey there, what's on your bucket list? Would you like to travel the world, live your best life? What if I told you you could blow right this minute and do everything on that list? Airtel is celebrating its anniversary and saying thank you to all loyal customers. You stand a chance to win up to 100 million Naira with guaranteed cash tokens in the Airtel Recharge and Blow Anniversary promo. Plus, 250 megabytes and 20 SMS free. How awesome is that? All you have to do is recharge to win. For more information, dial star 444 star 4 hash. Everyone's a winner. So hurry now. The more you recharge, the more you win. Airtel, the smartphone network. The ITF has been a great partner of the Nigerian private sector. They have been a veritable tool in the industrialization of this country. It has become one of the key federal government institutions that can be used as a benchmark for others to emulate. To ensure that the skills agenda becomes government's topmost agenda. Having had 50 years experience behind ITF, they would be able to lead the process. You've impacted upon the lives of many, many Nigerians, particularly the young people. Impacting on the life of women is impacting on the life of the family. They have trained over 25 million Nigerians in the last 50 years of their establishment. Keep it up. We look forward to the next 50 years of glory. I wish them many more years of active service to our country. ITF has done well. Nigeria is going to do well. Happy 50th anniversary. The National Union of Road Transport Workers has been involved in the process of advancement of the growth and development of Nigeria and a union united as one. As Nigeria celebrates the 61st independence anniversary, the national president, Al-Haji Tajuddin Ibikunli Barua, celebrates with the president, Federal Republic of Nigeria, Muhammadu Buhari, Nigerians and members of the union, as we celebrate this remarkable day that made us one nation. The union prays for peace and unity as we grow as a nation and calls on members to uphold the unity of the nation, better and stronger, together. Happy 61st independence, Nigeria. National they look for pension fund administrator. We soft, make sense, we care for me. Shy. No be the time when story go enter the matter. When it's time to deliver. No, 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 no. Bring the show, them no go stress you. Call them, then they accessible. Yes, sir. Customer care where they on point. On point. No go regret when you try of course. Join over 700,000 satisfied members and enjoy the premium experience at our offices across the 36 states in Nigeria, including the FCT. Call 09-4615-700-704 to make the switch today. Premium pension. Active today. Premium tomorrow. The CEOs of tomorrow are already on ground. Nigeria's youth are active partners in nation building. Youths must strive to be heard. Youth is the power to make choices. Powerful voices who see the world differently and process it with divergent views. Join us at the National Youth Conference in October 2021. All roads lead to Abuja. Three old days at the Confirm. Youth delegates from the 36 states of Nigeria and the FCT. Having conversations centered on youth inclusiveness, peace, security, governance, 
and employment. It is time for us to emerge. Let the youth decide. The National Youth Conference is made possible by the Ministry of Youth and Sports Development and Private Sector Partners. On behalf of the National Center for Women Development, I felicitate with the Father of the Nation, our dear President, President Muhammad Buhari, and the Mother of the Nation, Dr. Aisha Muhammad Buhari, as well as all Nigerians on our 61st Independence Anniversary. Happy Independence. Welcome back. Nigeria shall continue to march against all odds and utilize her potentials to achieve greatness. Emmanuel Akila reports that this is contained in the speech of Governor Mohamed Inouye Yahya to commemorate the 61 years of Nigeria's independence and 25 years of the creation of Gombe State. After the inspection of the Guard of Honor, Governor Mohamed Inouye Yahya, in his address, acknowledged the contributions of the past leaders of Gombe State since its creation in 1996. The achievements, according to the governor, bring about rapid transformation of the young state. On coming to office on the 29th of May 2019, we strive to consolidate the achievements of all the past administrations. We took bold steps to confront the myriad of challenges facing our dear state. Our administration is pursuing a rapid and wide-ranging development by addressing long-standing infrastructure deficits through aggressive spending on roads, hospitals, and healthcare facilities, schools, water projects, and urban renewal. Special prayers were offered during the Friday prayers that followed the March Pass for peaceful coexistence and economic growth of Gombe State and Nigeria in general. In Gombe, Emmanuel Akila, NTA News. And as the nation celebrates 61 years of her independence, Nigerians have expressed optimism that the nation will emerge greater and stronger from the socio-economic challenges they face at present. NTA correspondent who filed in reports from the state say there is renewed hope on the horizon. Olabo de Arewa compiles some of these reports. The task of nation building, no doubt, requires the collaboration of all, and Nigeria is no exception. With the 61st Independence Anniversary, another chance to take stock of progress made so far. From Asaba, Austin Edemodo reports that Deltans joined in the celebration. While from a Boeing state, Ijeo Mapita reports that youths marched through the streets of Abakaliki in the spirit of the anniversary which coincides with 25 years of a Boeing State's creation. We want to thank our current president. Irrespective of the security challenges, the agitations of the youth, the yearnings and aspiration of our people for the betterment of our great nation. From Crown River State, Maury Lua John reports that Governor Ben Ayade used the occasion to call for a rededication to the enduring values that distinguishes Africa's most populous country. From Kefi, Suraj Abdullah reports that the people of Nasawa State are bubbling with renewed confidence in the nation's potentials. In Ogu State, Yemi Dalimo reports that Governor Dakbo Abiodun challenges Nigerians to forge a common front against the agents of division. And from Ikiti State, Koladebo B reports that Governor Kayo Defayemi is assuring that a new direction towards national development is on course. Whilst we appreciate the progress we have made as a people, we need to take some deep introspective look at where we have not done as well as we should. I beseech you all to continue to support this administration and partner with us in our collective commitment to the sustenance of peace and harmonious coexistence for socio-economic development of our dear state. From Kano, Abdullah Mustafa reports that Governor Abdullah Umar Ganduji wants the Nigerian Governors Forum to use its influence in addressing differences among Nigerians. All governors have been voted not to divide Nigeria, but to keep Nigeria one for progress 
More messages and the news continues shortly. gigabytes data free. vitamins and minerals. So in our family, breakfast time is Kellogg's time. Breakfast time is Kellogg's time. He's falling sick so frequently, either fever or stomach ache. I keep him away from junk food. He also feeds me apples. She says an apple a day. <laughs> to keep germs away then also wash your hands regularly with Dettol soap. Meaning? Germs and disease spread through the hand also. For this, use Dettol soap. Dettol protects from up to 100 illness causing germs. Dettol soap is endorsed by the Nigerian Medical Association. Be Dettol sure. a lot. Wow Wash and Win Millions promo. Millions of Naira, daily prizes, and a million Wow Sachets are up for grabs. Buy Wow now. Offer valid till October 25th, 2021. He's falling sick so frequently, either fever or stomach ache. I keep him away from junk food. He also feeds me apples. She says an apple a day. <laughs> want to keep germs away, then also wash your hands regularly with Dettol soap. Meaning? Germs and disease spread through the hand also. For this, use Dettol soap. Dettol protects from up to 100 illness causing germs. Dettol soap is endorsed by the Nigerian Medical Association. Be Dettol sure.
welcomes you back to school. Have a session filled with lots of fun and excitement. Stay safe, stay healthy. Indomie noodles, tasty nutrition, good for you. That's network news for tonight. But before we go, remember to step up, be a star, connect with NTA to stand against rape and traffic. Have a wonderful night.